Excellent. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Paul's Hardware Garage Work Log. Uh, I'm very excited about today's video, but first, I need to say a huge and massive thank you to all of you guys out there who have uh, subscribed to my channel, whether you're a long-time subscriber or a recent subscriber. I just yesterday hit 200, 200K, 200,000 subscribers. I'm amazingly uh, humbled and, and thankful and uh, all that stuff. So thanks you guys for subscribing. Thanks for liking the videos and all that good stuff. It is your feedback that sustains me and drives me to make more videos. Uh, but speaking of which, I have been sort of proceeding with the garage project for quite some time now. Today I'm very excited about what I'm actually going to be trying to accomplish and just up front there's a good chance this video is going to be split into two parts because I have a pretty good amount of stuff to do. Now I can see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll make the camera less shaky. Okay so here's my work area and uh, what's next for this is going to be some shelves. Uh, I'm also going to put some sound dampening, at least a row of sand, sound dampening about at the same level as the microphones in the back, so that's probably going to go just under the shelves and maybe above it. And then I'm also going to paint back here and do some stuff like covering up the wall sockets and that kind of thing. But that's not what I'm working on today, no. I have to do an order of operations and the order of... <gasps> oh my gosh. Look how responsible I'm being. This is an Acer Predator X34. Um, I've actually taken this out of the box already. I've actually shot some B-roll with it, and it's sitting over there neglected and unused right, right there. I should be playing StarCraft Legacy of the Void on it, or maybe some Fallout 4, but I'm not. I'm trying to be responsible and move on with the project that I told myself I was going to do. I'm working on this area over here today. Perhaps less glamorous, but very required. Um, this is all just storage stuff. I've actually massively cleaned up this uh, this area here as of yesterday. Um, so here's what I'm doing today. First off, uh, where this little shelf is, I'm going to make a cabinet, a stand-up cabinet about eight foot tall, uh, and it's going to open up and that's going to hold like a lot of my camera gear uh, and like production equipment and that kind of thing. Um, so that's going to take, that's going to be about three foot wide right there. And then for the rest of this wall space over here, which isn't doing a whole lot right now, I'm going to be putting in these shelves. Uh, I have a pretty good idea to use shelf standards uh, to, to put the shelves in. My tool chest should fit in right below it. I'm going to do a little bit of pegboard up here. And then I have this pretty cool idea for shelves and stuff that I found online. And I'll, I'll post the link to where I got the idea in the video description. Anyway, let's go to Home Depot. Okay, Home Depot. Wood. Plywood. Look at all that plywood, that's, that's a lot of it. Sorry, I can't keep in focus here. Look, I got a pocket hole jig, some trimmer line, need some new trimmer line. Uh, hardware for the doors and everything. I uh, got some pegboard. Next up, plywood. Gotta get some plywood, need to have it ripped. Gonna rip some plywood. Now answer that age-old question of how much plywood can you fit into a two-door Honda Accord? That much. About that much. So here's a look at my haul. Uh, of course all that plywood. Basically this is five total pieces of four foot by eight foot plywood that's cut into strips. So I had them cut into foot and a half wide strips that way. Um, and then these are just the remainders that I'm also going to be using for some pieces. Um, these are very thin strips. I had them cut into about three and a half inch long strips. So those are what's going to be mounted to the wall over there. Uh, and then to those I mount these guys, which are called shelf standards. And then they have all those, these little things that pop into them. So that makes it kind of modular and you can move the shelves around and stuff. I'm only going to get that started for today. Really my main focus here is that cabinet. So the foot and a half pieces are going to be the, uh, the two si the sides, so it's going to be about a uh, foot and a half deep coming out from the wall over there, and then it's going to be about three feet wide uh, with foot and a half wide uh, uh, closing doors, opening and closing doors. So now I'm at the like, what's next? What should I do next point? I guess the answer is I should throw the ball for Nori, right? Go ahead. Oh, I hit her in the nose. We usually don't play ball out in the garage. So out here behind the garage, I have set up my uh, my old table, uh, the one right there. That's like a, it's like 15 or 20 years old. I've had that for so long, but I'm um, still alive and kicking. Basically, I need to I need to cut three more of those to that width. I need to cut uh, 
three shelves and one top piece that are also that width except for the top piece which is a little bit wider. These two pieces uh, that have birch on the front I'm going to have be the actual doors. Uh, I'm also going to maybe hopefully route, or, uh, route the sides of those and put a little beveled edge on, on the side. Uh, do a bit of sanding. I want to get everything cut out here. I also need to cut uh, the shelves of course and I need to notch uh, the two side pieces in the bottom where they go up against this, the garage door. I'm hopefully going to get everything cut out here and, and set up because it's, it's already starting, the sun's already starting to go down uh, and then I can sort of just assemble everything inside. Alright guys, it is Sunday now and uh, I need to wrap this video up because uh, I keep I keep getting hounded by the thought of I have not posted a video yet this week. Ah, so uh, this one's gonna go up. It is uh, gonna be a two-parter, so uh, as you can see I'm still in process of the work here. Just to recap, uh, on Friday is when I started this video and I got uh, a pretty good amount of work done. I did I did my shopping. Uh, and I did a bunch of wood cutting, cutting down to size and sanding and that kind of thing. Uh, yesterday was Saturday and um, I was distracted pretty significantly because I've decided to purchase a new car, or at least a new to me car, um, and that, that kind of took away from some of the time. But I did get in here yesterday and I started to assemble this whole thing as you probably saw in the time lapse. So um, it's really big, it's really tall. These two shelves are installed, roof, uh, the top of it is 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 connected up there with uh, with nails going all along the edges. These are connected with nails in the sides as well as along the back on the support there. Uh, the bottom piece is still just sitting there in place. I haven't connected that or connected up either side, which is why it's still bowing out a little bit at the bottom because both of these side pieces had some pretty significant bowing going on with them. Um, my technique for assembling this thing was A, to not plan ahead as much as I should have. So. Um, there's certain things I would have liked to have done, like um, there's there's more shelves than what's what's going on in here that I'm planning to install, and I should have started out with those in mind, um, so I could have done some pre-drilling stuff on the sides and whatnot. But I, you know, I, you got to push forward sometimes, so I had to push forward. So we're starting with three shelves and a roof. Um, this bottom one's going to get connected, mounted up, um, and then I also built this uh, in, with a specific goal in mind, which is that. I'm building it directly under the wall, but um, you notice these three by two cross beams that are supporting it. These are drilled straight into the stud that's back there. Um, but if I ever did want to remove this entire thing and perhaps shift it down another wall or move it over to the other side of the garage or anything, I should, in theory, be able to remove four screws. Uh, the four that are here, the four that are in the beam there, and then the four that are in the beam up there. And this whole thing should be able to come off of the wall and be able to shift around and move and whatever. Here's a look at one of the doors just kind of propped in place. Uh, the doors are also plywood, but they're birch plywood, which costs, I don't know, just a few bucks more and has a nicer finish on it. And this one I went to the trouble of sanding and also uh, I used my router to go uh, right along the edge here. Sorry, I'm using autofocus, so I don't know how well focused this is. Also, these shelves are almost almost completely level. But coming up very soon on Paul's next garage work log, I'm going to clear all this stuff out, 
I'm going to paint this wall. I need, I'm going to get some more gray paint. I might go a little bit lighter, but it's going to be mostly the same color. I'm going to paint that whole wall, and I'm actually going to paint the entire frame of this that same color. At the same time, I'm also going to do some caulk and uh, seal up around the edges and the back and the front. I know that might make it hard to pull the thing off the wall later, but i got to seal that up if I want dust to get not get in there, at least as, as little dust as possible. Um, so I'm going to paint this whole front thing, and then the, the, these front doors that are birch, I'm going to leave the natural wood finish, so sticking with the kind of gray and wood and black theme, I guess, which I, I, I kind of like. It matches pretty well. So I still have a lot of work to do. Uh, I'm going to be kicking into high gear today, or maybe later today and tomorrow, and working more on this, so stay tuned. I probably have another garage work log coming up very, very soon. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Again, thanks for bearing with me as well through all of these uh, transitional times that I have going on as I work on the garage and update things. Uh, I know it's going to be awesome once I get it all finished, or at least as finished as it's going to be for me to move on to the next stage. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Buy a t-shirt perhaps at store.paulsarbor.net if you're interested in supporting my cause. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Have a great weekend, everyone.